General Motors posted a solid quarter, reporting better than expected earnings thanks to strong demand in North America. That helped offset its struggling international operations. Phil LeBeau takes a closer look at GM's bottom line. GM's tale of two markets, the U.S. and China, shows the weakness in China is more than offset by America's insatiable appetite for trucks and SUVs. What you're really starting to see is the earnings power of our truck franchise that is starting to show through in our results. And that's really driven by favorable customer reception to our Silverado and Sierra pickup trucks. GM's new pickup trucks, often selling for close to $50,000 a piece, are in demand thanks to strong consumer confidence, low unemployment, and the fact more buyers are moving into a truck. In the first half of this year, Fiat Chrysler's Ram brand outsold Silverado, partially because of aggressive marketing by Fiat Chrysler. But GM says it will avoid an incentive war in order to move new versions of the Silverado. Despite the pricing um, headwinds that might, might have been out in the market, you can see how we delivered and our market share is up. So what we need to do is to keep focusing on our plan and executing to, to that, and we will continue doing that. Meanwhile, in China, where automakers are feeling the effect of an economy slowing down, GM's profits fell 60 percent last quarter. The company is optimistic business in China will stabilize thanks to a wave of new models. While GM's business in the U.S. is strong right now, it faces a number of potential challenges in the second half of 2019, including negotiations with the United Auto Workers. That contract ends in September, and many believe that for the first time in two decades, there is a decent chance we could see lengthy strikes at U.S. auto plants. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.